Breaking news. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has charged candidates from the Southeast, South South, and the Southwest to shelve ambition of contesting for presidency in 2023 in line with true zoning. According to him, the tenure of the North for the seat is yet to be completed. Article represented by the Chairman Technical Committee for the Actualization of Article Abubakar Presidential Ambition. Chief Raymond Dopesi stated this on Thursday when he paid a thank you visit consultation to actualize the presidential ambition of the Vice President. To Ebony State in to Ebony People's Democratic Party, pardon, PDP. According to him, the South has had a presidential position for 16 years from 1999 to 2007, and from 2009 and 2015, adding that naturally the North should produce the next president of the country in 2023 in line with the rotational presidency. In the country. He however emphasized that those clamoring for the southern presidency were doing so for their selfish interest and not for the interest of the south. The south had the presidency from 1999 to 2007 and again from 2009 to 2015. The tenure is yet you know the tenure of the year of the north is not yet expired once it's expired the south will produce the president the southeast in particular all those clamoring for the presidency to come to the south in 2023 are not asking for it because of the south they are asking it for their own particular interests and the zone they come from what is your thoughts to this and I can tell you for free of charge, even the APC itself will not bring it to the Southeast. The clamor for it is for the benefit of the Southwest, not for the benefit of the Southeast. We are interested in power shifting to the Southeast and we have to lay the proper foundation. Time and care are required, he said. The PC also urged. Governor David Umahi of Ebony State to return the PDP Secretariat with immediate effect. Release the State Publicity Secretary of the party, Chika Uwuba Chika, who was remanded for alleged fake news and cyber crimes in the state. I remember vividly when I came here on two, three occasions. The first one was when I was contesting for chairman of the party. The engineer, this governor, met me at Abuja after I came visited here. You know, after I have visited here, pardon, to plead with me to step down from the chairmanship race for the overall interest of the party and in the overall interest of the federal government. Ebony citizens love the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The same man did not have sufficient patience when it comes to his own personal ambition of becoming the president. He breezed in a brutal manner, took the Secretariat, the People's Democratic Party, that's a very heinous act, that is the height of brutality and wickedness. And I call on him to, at this point in time, return the Secretariat to the PDP of the Southeast. Let me also call on him to immediately release the PDP officer whom he has taken to court with the trump of charges. We are all supposed, you know, we are all supposed he was, you know, flowing very well to be democratic not tyrant people have a right to a different opinions and must not be 
incriminated and dealt with in such a heinous manner. I want to call on all members of the People's Democratic Party in this place to remain resilient. I believe very shortly you will be hearing some good news from the head waiters for this very party. This maltreatment cannot be sustained. He stated, what is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this pain development? So, would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said. Like you to share it all with us via the comment section. We've just had, according to the news, the Vice President Atiku Abwaka, which is the former Vice President, has charged, you know, candidates from the Southeast, South South, and Southwest to shelf ambitions of contesting, you know, for the presidency in 2023 in line with zoning. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. He has said that it is not their time if we should follow you know, zoning. Saying that the North has not completed their tenure if we should follow zoning. Do you agree with what Atiko have just said? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. He said the North are yet to complete presidency seats. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Francis James reacted and said, Atiku is in a hurry to make Nigeria work again. Let's give him a chance. He's mature and responsible. He wants to show to the world that he can repair things. Nigeria that has been scrapped by APC and Buhari to become new again. What is your thought to this? If those had words, Francis James have said, Saying that Atiku is in a hurry to make Nigeria work again. He said, Let's give Atiku a chance. Probably. He's mature and responsible. He wants to show the world that he can repair things. We all know how scrappy Nigeria is under the Buhari's administration. So, can you just imagine having this kind of Nigeria becoming new again? That's what has been said by Francis. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? Do you think people will support what Francis James have said? You as an individual, would you support Atiku to be the next president of Nigeria? Believing that he's matured and responsible. Believing that he can repair things. Believing that he's in a hurry to make Nigeria work again. Do you think Atiku is in the best position to rule Nigeria next? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. There are so many things to talk about when it comes to the issue of presidency in Nigeria. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.